Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter. Where before we get into the actual game proper, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at a couple of things. Now the first one, that uh, the user Steve Monkeys, I believe it was. Steve, this is for you, man. He asked me to look at the religious spread. So I'm going to do that, but before I do... Sounds like this is a little bit loud. There we go. Okay, so religious spread. Let's have a look. Most of Europe is Catholic, as you would expect. There's a lot of Orthodox people hanging out near Russia in that sort of area, and that's odd. Someone went Sunni. Who? It's not King Roman. What the hell did that happen? Oh, hello. Ah. Wait, no, he's not Sunni either. The province is, but he's not. Maybe he was. At some point. Ah, I see. I think I see it at any rate. She was Sunni. What about this fella? Who ruled here previously? You. No? That's weird. Maybe that was just a cultural spread and it just went, uh, this province flipped first and then it went 1-2. No, there's another one here. That is very interesting. How the hell did you get here? Well, you're not Sunni either, are you? No, you're Tengri. That's weird. Okay, well, thank you, Steve, for pointing that out to us. Unintentionally, though, it was. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting, actually. And what are you guys? <clears throat> you are Sumonesco. Hang on, wasn't that what these guys were? Yeah, that's pagan. Okay, so it's a branch of paganism. That's very interesting. That's really interesting. Huh. That's kind of cool. But uh, one of the other things I did notice when I was looking around before uh, beginning this recording session was that Scotland's having this little civil war thing going on. But that's not the interesting thing. Well. It's sort of interesting. Ulster is rebelling against Scotland proper, and these guys are rebelling against um, Angus of Scotland as well for someone else's claim. But the interesting thing is, if we look at this, it's a theocracy. Angus is not King Angus, he's King Bishop Angus, the first of Scotland. Very, very interesting indeed. Which means that because they haven't got um, free investiture, the Pope decides who will be the next king, which means there is no ruling dynasty. Well, there is, but it only rules for one uh, character's worth. Unless, of course, the second character happens to be a Dunkeld as well. But he has no um, sons, and he only has a brother. But the brother is also a bishop, so I suppose it could happen that theoretically he became the king, well, the king bishop. And that could be interesting. But yeah, they're having a civil war. This guy's fighting for Arthur, so the brother of the current king bishop. This guy is fighting for nobody, I don't think. <clears throat> oh wait, no, he's fighting for uh, Moldred. Whoever Moldred is. Moldred? Who are you? Well, he'll be in here with a claim, I suppose. Maldred. Oh, there we go. He's the steward of the Isles, I think. Yeah, I think it's him. Hmm. So, presumably, he started his war because it's a weak claim. He started his war during uh, Ulster's declaration of war. But that's very interesting. Uh, there was also something else, but I can't remember what it was. 
Oh, that's right. I was going to show you guys du jour drift because I'm pretty sure I haven't done that already. Du jour drift is what happens when you own all of a duchy in a kingdom that is not its du jour kingdom. So du jour means uh, by law. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it means by law. De facto means by um, default, essentially. So right now, the Duchy of Normandy is de facto under the rule of the King of England, simply because the King of France does not own it. The King of England has his lords here. But in a hundred years, well, after a hundred years of being de facto part of England, it becomes de jure part of England. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I'm probably mangling the Latin a little bit there. But, uh, essentially, what happens is you can't have de jure drift start until you've owned all the counties. So the reason why we're only at 61 out of 100 years, despite it being 80 years since the Norman Conquest, well, almost, at any rate, is because we didn't own Vexen for a little bit. That belonged to France for a fair while until King William went, right, we want that. And the same thing is happening here with Brittany. But the interesting thing about Brittany is, unlike France, which is a multi-duchy kingdom, Brittany's single duchy. So what happens when a hundred years have passed and uh, the duchy passes de jour into the King of England is that the Kingdom of Brittany becomes a titular title. And it will be a titular title because we will not own uh, any of the de jure territory, because it won't have any. It won't have any de jure territory. And the same thing is happening to the Kingdom of Aquitaine. But the Kingdom of Aquitaine should survive, in theory, because the Holy Roman Empire controls this little bit of the Duchy of Toulouse. So if we go to Independent Realms, they control these two bits of um, France. So France proper owns most of the de jure territory of the Kingdom of Aquitaine. So if we go to Kingdom of Aquitaine, they own most of it. But they don't own this little bit or this little bit, so Toulouse will not change hands. I'm not quite sure why... This one is, considering that she swears... Ah, oh, hang on. No, she swears fealty to a Holy Roman Empire fellow. He owns the Duchy of... Def oh, that's really weird. I don't know why that's happening. It shouldn't be. At least I don't think it should be. If anybody knows why it's happening, please do explain, because I'm interested as well. But obviously, uh, bits of... Um, the Kingdom of Aquitaine will survive, so if someone were to form it, it could then get back its de jure duchies by, um, well, owning all the territories of them. The same thing happens with France. If they manage to take back, say, the Duchy of Anjou, or Anjou they can uh, reclaim it. So if they, and if they get it back before the hundred years is up, the timer starts ticking backwards. So we can reverse the process if we want to. And the same thing will be happening here with um, the Duchy of Munster, but for some reason it's not showing up. It should be. Maybe it's because the King of England, uh, not King of England, King of England, blah, 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 losing the faculty to speak. The Kingdom of Ireland doesn't exist yet. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, nobody's created it yet. But that's odd, because these are... slipping de jure into the theocracy of Scotland. I do not know. Riddle me that, YouTube. If you guys can explain that as well, I will be very interested. But yeah. So, what happens is that... After a hundred years, if Brittany doesn't uh, break free, there will be no Kingdom of Brittany, and I don't think you can actually form a titular title. You might be able to form it if you had a claim on it. If you could find somebody who has a claim on it, but I'm pretty sure nobody does. 
Yeah, the claimant's bar is blank. There are no claimants still alive. Because there was only ever one King of Brittany. King Alan, and he died in 907. So that was a good many years ago. But anyway, we were getting on with our game. So first things first, we don't need you anymore. And we can put the timer on to two. Now what I want to do is I want to try, because people have asked me this as well, they've gone, Grey Hunter, how come you haven't formed the most badass of badass levies this side of the, you know, Europe? Which would be the Knights. Well, the reason I haven't done that is because I thought that they disbanded if you were to flip culture. But it turns out that they... Hello. Really? Done deal. We probably won't press that for a while, but it's nice to have it. Uh, yeah, try and try and claim there as well. Why not? Uh, what do we get? King Herman prefers Prince Gargamel, and he'll prefer himself in a minute. Anyway, as I was saying, I was under the assumption that if they... Thank you, that's nice. Stop interrupting me, dammit. I was under the impression that if you flipped culture, you lost this, but that's not true. What is true, though, is if I were to build the squire lists and then flip culture to English, then I would lose that. So I lose my cultural building, not my cultural retinue. So, when we have enough limit to do it, I will indeed prepare a cultural retinue of awesome. Yes, yes, you favor yourself, we know. And game, why are you being clunky? Come on, game. Behave nicely. Stop it. Okay. I am going to pause recording and start again. So I will see you guys momentarily. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Yes, I am getting a solid amount of frames a second. Okay. So. As I was saying, when we eventually get enough retinue cap to create a new retinue. This one requires 1600. We currently have a free cap of... Hmm. Not much. Yeah, not enough. Not nearly enough. We need at least three... Th yeah, we need at least the mid 3000s. That's okay. Who are you? Apparently we're related to... Oh, right, I see. Yes, I remember who you are now. Now, the other thing I want to do is... I think I... Yes, I have mapped it to there. Cultures! Cultures are interesting. Because we are Norman. There's not very many Normans. There's a lot of Saxons, but there's not many Normans. There's some English as well. I'm really hoping that we can avoid that whole flipping to English culture. It does tend to happen a lot that you will flip, but occasionally, if enough of your courtiers are Norman, you don't. At least that's what I've found anyway. So, what we've got here is that most of, our f most of us here are Norman, but we've got a few trouble spots. Also, we want to check to see if any of the people who are scheduled to inherit are English. So obviously, you know, like Brian, we don't want him to be English, we'd prefer for him not to be. God damn it, Matilda, don't die on me, don't die on me. And of course, we've got... <laughs> yes, yes, Herbert Harcourt, that's not good. And of course, we've got uh, other people who we definitely don't want to culture flip. Really? That's not good. Okay, I'm, I'm going to educate you myself, Matilda, and hopefully you don't die, because that would be really, really depressing and annoying. But what we've got is a couple of trouble spots, so I would really like for it if we could tutor this fella. Because he is Breton, so let's see if we can get him a good Norman tutor. George, the Count of Lyon. And we want to get you a nice tutor. Somebody good. Somebody with uh, good stewardship, too. Actually, no, you're doing okay for stewardship. Let's see if we can just get you somebody nice who's the proper Norman culture. So, we'll filter by stewardship anyway. 
Perfect, Arnald. Please, what? What do you mean, no? I am your liege. You must obey. Okay. You're the heir. What about you? What do you mean, no? You're not meant to be able to defy me. I am your liege. You son of a bitch. Okay, what if I said I would personally tutor you? You still say no. Okay. But you would accept tutoring from this fella. Because he's of the same culture, I assume? Or are you guys of the same dynasty? No, you're not, you're not even of the same dynasty. Hmm. That is troubling. Alright, what about you? You are six years old, and the game is still tanking. Why are you being a... Stop it. Okay, can I give you... Hmm, you son of a bitch. Okay, these people are going to be problem children for a little bit. God damn it, game. Stop it. Okay, what about you? You have a son. Can I educate him? It's me personally. Oh, right, you don't like me, I forgot. Okay, what about somebody who you do like? I don't know if there's anyone you do like. What about him? No, you still won't. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to have to deal with a cultural malice for a little bit, but that's alright. We can deal with that. We can fix it. We'll be like Jimmy Savile. We'll have our own TV show. Okie dokie. Uh, daughter was born. Named Catelyn. Oh, that's nice. Alrighty, so... The other thing that we need to do, that we definitely need, 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 need to do, is we will hold a feast when we are able to. But also, I want to go on a grand hunt, because grand hunts are very good at getting rid of bad traits. And you can pick up some nice ones, like brave, diligent, etc. So, hopefully, if we go on a grand hunt or two, we'll be able to ditch the whole craven thing, because that's a bit of a bummer. And I'd really like to try and lose it before we end up with um, the situation of our son Brian having it. So let's see if we can't get rid of it. I don't know if we can. It can take a few goes sometimes, but hopefully. Come on game, be nice. Stop it. Uh, my hunting skill is becoming quite obvious, well my lack of. I can lose 20 prestige or claim somebody else's success as my own. You're my brother-in-law. I still lose prestige, but not as much. Uh, I will admit my failure. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll send out my best hunter. God damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. You're my biffle. Actually, hang on. If we're Biffles, we're sort of Biffles, we're semi-Biffles, if that is so, how come I cannot tutor your son? I can tutor your son! Oh, excellent, awesome. Um, can I get Arnulf to do it instead? Arnold. Yay, I can get Arnold to do it. Perfect. Uh, I'm proud of my hunting abilities, rather my lack of hunting abilities for some reason that I'm not quite sure of. So hang on, who else was Breton? You, sir. We are related, so I should be able to be, uh, I should be able to pass off... Wait, he's English! Wait, do you not have a son? No, you do, he's just old, and he's English! Okay, I will have to train up, hmm, actually, I kind of want to kill him, and try to train up this guy. Well, seeing as he's not meant to be the actual heir, I wonder if, no, no, you, you won't, 
We're about on hold. No? Okay, what if I wanted to train third in line? No. You don't like me enough. Why don't you like me? Because I raised levies and I'm a foreigner and you're a type. Oh, you. Okay, well, I might be able to train Fulk. Fulk the Younger when he becomes uh, of tutoring age. So let's hope that's true. You, sir. Hmm. I wonder if I gave you a bit of money. Yeah, 40 bucks is worth it. Could I then try to educate you myself? Aha, uh -huh, you would say yes. Alright, well, I'll give you to Arnold as well. Awesome. I hadn't thought of that. Actually, about you. No, you really hate me, so I don't think I'll be able to con you into it. How many sons do you have there? Hmm. Okay. I've already made you master of the hunt. What if I sent you a gift? I could send you 21 bucks. It's not nearly enough. Are you good at anything? No, you're shit at everything. All the more reason for me to train your heirs. You son of a bitch. Ugh. Alright, well, we'll deal with it when we come to it. But you can see there's that lovely little Norman thing. Oh, hey! They culture flipped. There you go. Uh, Count Jord has approved the small feudal taxes law. Awesome. I've managed to convince these guys to let me train their sons. Awesome. Except for this fellow. Because he's being a bastard. When was he born? 23rd of September. Oh, it's November. Also, we can hold our feast. Actually, this might be enough to uh, flip uh, this fella into letting me teach his son. Go, continue. If we can impress him, <laughs> if we can impress him enough with our feast, we might be able to gain enough happiness with him that he says, "Yeah, okay, you can train my son," or at least I can pick who trains his son. Uh. The fire blast is right past my face. Ooh, fire reader! Yes, done. Yes, I am sinking a fair bit of gold into this, but I'd rather have a united realm where people don't hate me for being a foreigner. Uh, everybody is invited. There is, of course, the chance that Count Mel Mordor will just say no. Fulk says no. Countess Azela. Actually, hang on. Who is her heir? It's Norman, but she's not. Let's see. I wonder if I can ask... Um, hmm. No, I don't want a Polish or a Frankish or any of those people. No, stop it. No. Um, okay. They don't have to be super high stewardship. How about that? Alright, he's of the de Corneil family. Um, they don't have to have fantastically good traits. I mainly want to focus on converting them over first. Why not? Okay, how much do you hate me? A fair bit. I can't award you an honorary title, apparently. You don't like me enough for that. I thought I could offer you one. There's like a the special female one, isn't there? I can't offer it to you. Where's somebody I can uh, test it? Oh, wait, no, I gave the only one to uh, Flandina. So, no, I can't. You can let women folks be the High Almoner, but that's about it. Unless you want them to be Spymaster, but then that can only be your wife or your mother. Um, hello, hello, come, join me. Uh, the duel was over when I reached them. Count Wyman's opponent lied. W what did you do? Uh, I can tell him excellent work. Wait, who are you? You're Norman, so I don't really mind. Yeah, your son's Norman as well. What did you do? Uh, okay, I'll go with excellent work. 
Uh, I hear Count Wyman challenge one of my other guests to a duel, and before I have a chance to interfere, the two of them go outside. Uh-oh. Maybe he just killed somebody else. Well, maybe I was meant to get that other message first. Oh, hey! We're Biffles! I had great fun, and so did everyone else. What's my ambition? To become steward, that was what I was going to change. I am going to change it now. Yes. I wish to improve... What happens if I do that? Uh, prestige. I want to improve my martial ability, but I'll pick this one first. And Bishop... No, Baron Rosalind of Argentan. We're Biffles! And now I can pick a new one. So I gained a little bit of extra prestige. Yes, that was a little bit gamey, but meh. And now we shall try to improve our martial ability. And as you can see, people are just going, hells yeah, about the whole law thing. Or at least one person went, hells yeah. I'm expecting some more hells yeahs. There we go. Hey, Wyman, my man, my man. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, okay. What have we got? No matter what I do, my sweetheart never seems happy, complaining that we never do anything exciting together, and sulks when I tell her that I have too much to do to be able to entertain her all the time. Having a lover is more hard work than I thought. Uh, throw a big party for her. Do I already have charitable? No, but what does it do? It just improves my diplomacy. Uh, okay, so I could throw a party for her. Take her hunting. Let's go hunting. I might actually get uh, a good trait from that. You never know. And hey, we actually got our taxes through. So that is good because now the feudal lords pay us a little bit of money a month. It's not a huge amount, but every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Uh, he left the Prince I was well for England faction. That's nice. Irrelevant to me, but nice. Count Robert of Warwick has been reduced from has been released from the Duke of Hereford's dungeon. That's nice. I don't care. You have no idea how much I don't care. A uh, medium stone wall has been built in Rouen. Nice. A daughter was born named Andequina. That is an odd name. Measles has broken out in Vans. Well, that's not good. On the other hand... You, sir. You're still not old enough. Right, September. 23rd of September. Battle of Assay. But a long time ahead. Shut up! So we'll just burn through time a little bit here. My liege, I've collected a tithe in Mortain. You bought me 84 gold for my not actually birthday, but close enough. I like you, Tancred. Yay, so now we have lots of money. We'll go on another grand hunt. On the off chance that we won't end up being scared off by the stag. I'd really prefer it if we weren't. Wyman to do what's his face? Oh. No, not my friend Wyman. Wait, when did he get maimed? It was when you did that duel thing, wasn't it, you stupid bastard? What do you mean the Grand Hunt is over? I was supposed to get an opportunity to change some of my abilities. You son of a bitch. Oh well, that's okay. That's alright. Uh, we don't really need to throw another Grand Feast, so I'm not going to. I'm probably going to save my money to see if we can get another holding. Uh, the Duke of York has become the new leader of the Prince Oswald for England faction. Yeah, good luck with that. Have fun. Prendota Prokorska. No, but he's my friend. He's my bro. Give him a chance. And if you don't, I'll kill you. Yep, that's how politics are solved in the Duchy of Normandy. We stab people. Uh, we learnt something about Majesty. That's nice. That, that's good, I guess. 
Actually, is there anyone in the council not doing what they're meant to be doing? No, everybody's doing stuff. 